Hi, I'm Dr. John Valenza, Interim Dean of the University of Texas Dental Branch at Houston. Computers and technology are changing healthcare, and dentistry is no exception. In this episode, with help from a few of our faculty, I'd like to show you two technologies in particular that are transforming the way we practice and teach dentistry. The scan itself is very simple. Uh, patient positioning is not as critical as it is in most uh, radiographic procedures because patient position can be modified in the software once the data is drawn into the software. So scans take anywhere from, depending on the units, uh, anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds and uh, as long as the patient doesn't move the data is usually going to be acceptable and uh, that's all the time it takes chair time if I could use that term. Now there's more time that's used in using the software and planning treatments and uh, evaluating the data, but in terms of patient flow, it does not take very much time. One of the biggest benefits of being able to get the cone beam type image is a three-dimensional image and you can actually build what looks like a 3D model of the patient's teeth and the bone structures. And then with the software that comes with these, you can rotate it around in essence, you can look at it from any angle you want and look at structures, and you can also kind of slice through the structures and look within them and see what's going on inside of things as well as on the surface. Cone beam introduction into uh, dental schools is just, it's just now coming on. This is all done in about the past couple of years as it started coming into dental schools. So actual familiarization with the cone beam image and how they're acquired and how to evaluate them will be something that we'll start introducing to the students. Basically, we're taking a few pictures of your teeth and we're designing your restoration and we have a machine here in the lab where we can have the restoration fabricated to cement in your mouth and we deliver it in one appointment. We can use it for any single unit restorations for now. Bridges are in the near future, but for right now we can do any single unit restorations and most of them are we using that it's uh, all porcelain restoration, so it's very aesthetic. Uh, it's also very strong. Here at the University of Texas, it's been really great to have this unit here as a teaching tool. The students become more motivated now to learn this type of procedures. We can actually teach them how to do their work better, having the software show us in different rotations how their preparation is, and they can visualize a lot better where the mistakes are. So they learn faster also with this unit. So this is the part the patient won't see. This is the milling unit that will fabricate the crown for the patient. Okay. So once we're done designing on the computer, what we do is the computer will tell us what type of the block we need. And the block is nothing more than this piece of unit here, where is a full ceramic block that will go into the machine and your restoration will be milled out of this block. After 10 to 15 minutes, we have the milling unit running, and uh, this is the finished product just coming out of the milling unit. This is the crown for your patient. Cone beam CT and CAD CAM. Just two more examples of how the dental branch is leading dental education in the use of technology. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned, and remember the best is yet to come.